Welcome back. You're still tuned into Inside Out, and the stock on our spotlight segment is Linde India, that specializes in the manufacture of industrial and medical gases, along with the construction of cryogenic and non cryogenic air separation plants. Its clientele includes renowned names such as Tata Steel, Sale, GSL, HPCL, BPCL, ONGC, and many others. The company also plays a crucial role in supplying medical oxygen to hospitals. Let's talk about financials now. The reporting structure shifted from the calendar year to the financial year starting from FY23, making year-on-year -year comparisons challenging. As of nine months FY24, it reported a revenue of 2138 crores, down from 2500 crores in the same period of the previous fiscal. Despite this, the company maintained a healthy EBITDA margin of 24.5%, which compares with 23%. Profit after tax stood at 320 crore rupees, which is versus 436 crore rupees in the previous fiscal year. Approximately 65% of Linde India's revenues stem from the gas segment. Company has cash of close to 1200 crore rupees in its books. Looking ahead, Linde has identified several priority markets to fuel its growth trajectory. These include pharmaceuticals with a particular emphasis on the increasing demands from chemicals and paints industry. Additionally, it aims to tap into opportunities in sectors such as railways and defense. The company also eyes the deployment of mobile fill units at construction sites to enhance accessibility and efficiency. One of the most significant opportunities going forward could be semiconductors. Now, the company has 3700 crore capex underway and Haitong highlights that Linde India's strong position in this domain because of leadership in the Indian gas market, strong ties with Tata Group and an end-to-end -end supply chain for semiconductor fabs. But what would the risk to all this be? If at all there is a slowdown in the capex cycle, competition increases with more entrance in the space and delays in execution as well. But the brokerage expects Linde to grow at 34% Pat Kagar, this is from FY23 to FY26, EBITDA to grow at 36% and revenue to grow at 30%. Linde India's FY25 PE stands at 100 times, reflecting investor optimism but also implying lofty valuations. As for shareholding, mutual funds hold 6.7% of the company's shares, while foreign portfolio investors account for 2.2%. Well, that's all we have on the show today, and we have completely run out of time on this episode of Inside Out. It's a goodbye from Nigel and I. But do write to us and tell us the companies you want us to discuss and you want to hear about, and we'll feature these on our show. Thanks a lot for watching.